Let it snow! I'm meteorologist Elisa Rafa here at Discovery Place Science. It's winter here in the Carolinas, which is the season of cold and snow. But lately, we're just not really getting all that much snow. As our climate or our average temperature continues to warm, more of our snow is falling as rain. Now, for most of us around Charlotte, that might not be so bad because the snow is kind of hard to drive in. But for our ski resorts up to the north and west and the higher elevations, they really depend on that snow. You can't ski without snow. So they often have to make their own snow and they can really only make that snow when you have temperatures cold enough to pump that white stuff. So we're gonna try to make our own snow with household items that you have right at home. Now, of course, ski resorts aren't using things like baking soda and shaving cream, but it might give us a test to see, you know, how difficult it might be to make your own snow. So for this experiment, all you'll need is two bowls and two spoons, either spoons or maybe like popsicle sticks, something to mix your snow with, some water, some baking soda, and some shaving cream, and paper towels for cleanup. So we're going to make two types of snow. One's gonna be more of a wet snow, and one's going to be a dry snow. You might be like, well, what does that mean? You'll see once we make the snows, and then I'll explain. Okay, so each bowl is going to get some baking soda. One of these bowls, you get a little bit of shaving cream. Shake it up to loosen it. And just add a little bit. Okay, mix it together with your spoon. It might be a little bit hard at first with how foamy the shaving cream is, but you can mix it into that baking soda. Our other bowl is gonna get a little bit of water. This bowl, again, remember, has some baking soda in already. And we just give it a little bit of water and then mix. If it's a little bit watery, you can just add a little bit more baking soda. It should be pretty obvious that in your bowls, you have two very different kinds of snow. In one bowl, I have this very kind of thick and goopy, very wet and cold snow. And then in my other bowl, I have a much more fine and powdery snow that just breaks apart. It doesn't compact together as well. And what we're looking at here is the difference in what we call snow ratios. You might have heard a meteorologist talk about this on TV. When we're forecasting for snow, it's important to know what the moisture content is in the atmosphere because that's going to impact how the snow lands on the ground and how it accumulates. It could really impact your snow totals if that snow compacts once it hits the ground. So you can see the bowl that has the baking soda and shaving cream is that very fluffy, powdery, dry snow. Snow like this in the atmosphere has a very low liquid content. That means that there's a lot of dry air in between the snow and ice crystals as the snow is falling. So they just wind up being kind of that smaller, powdery, dry snow. This is the type of snow that gives you those white out conditions, just blows around very easily, and it doesn't really make good snowmen because the snow just doesn't stick together as well. This snow in your baking soda and water bowl is very goopy and wet. This is a good example of what wet snow might be like. This has a very high liquid content because as the snow falls, if there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, the snowflakes that are falling kind of bump into each other, stick together, and the moisture just lets the snowflakes kind of build into bigger snowflakes that stick together more easily. So this snow winds up being very compact, very high in moisture. You get pretty great snowballs and snowmen out of this because of the way it sticks together and it's so compact. So think about it. If you're a ski resort and you're making snow, you need to think about these things. What type of snow do you want on different parts of the trail? Do you want the very fluffy, powdery stuff or do you want it to be wet and compact and just kind of easy to make snowballs and snowmen. Very different types of snow here. And these are things that our ski resorts are needing to continue to think about as our climate warms and they need to make more of their snow on their own.